welcome back to my channel um this look was like a test trial for everything so if you haven't noticed i have got a new camera so i was testing how to record and in this video you're gonna see so well i kind of cut out the mistakes but you're gonna see it or whatever but because i couldn't hide it and i didn't feel like doing the look over and one of the mistakes is on the eyeshadow um i'm trying to figure out like a way to use pigment properly on it to its best advantage i've been using different products but i have a mixture of um regular eyeshadow and pressed eyeshadow on my eye this is the look whatever and plus i changed my eyelash glue i was using um what you call her name beats by deb her, the way she put her lashes on she do like the glue on the lid and then the glue on the lashes itself I actually like that way it was actually easier but yeah this is how it turned out I like it even though I messed up hope you guys like it too thanks for tuning in to my channel hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and like and comment turn on post notifications and tell your friend, your best friend, your father, your baby father, your cousin, your cousin, 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 baby daddy, your your mother, your mother-in-law, your father, your father-in-law, your brother-in-law, your sister-in-law, whoever. Like, make sure you tell them about my video. But anyways, now they stop being burnt. Anyways, let's get to the video with no more interruptions. So, I started with my favorite palette, my 24A Artist Pass palette by Morphe. Y'all already know it's my favorite palette. It got the popping colors. And... I went in with that purple, y'all. I be trying to stay away from purple and pink, but it's just my go-to colors. I use that purple, and I put it in my crease. So, yeah, I'm going to push that into the crease. It's okay. It had a little fallout or whatever. I used it, got rid of it, all that good stuff, all that hot stuff. And, yeah, I put it in my crease, y'all. So now I'm going back into that palette and I'm using that like purplish brown and I'm going to use that above my crease as my transition color. So yeah. And I use the um a fluffy brush. I don't know what you call that. I think that's a blending brush, I think. I don't know. I can't keep it with the the names for these brushes, but to me that's my blending brush cuz that's what I use to blend out all my um looks. And like I said, I put it above my, um, above my crease. going in with my loose pigment powder and I will be using that orange right there in the middle and I will use my NYX um what you gonna call it um pigment primer yeah it's called pigment primer and I will put that on the lid of my eye uh, under my crease so all you need for that is like a little bit because a little goes a long way I ain't really mean to put that much but and then I took my brush and I just like um blended it out across my eye and I don't know how like I wasn't trying to put it in like a cut crease form I was just trying to just put it on my eyelid but it wound up just coming out in a cut crease form I didn't know how to just to put it naturally without making it like a cut crease but whatever it worked and yeah I just made sure like it was spread it out evenly across my eyelid. 
So after I put it on, I took my pressed powder with that same brush I blended out with the um the primer and I just dab like tapped the um brush into the pigment and a little goes a long way and I just tapped it across my eyelid and it stuck. So that's how I placed the um pigment on my eyelid. But like I said in the intro, I ran into complications because one eye, all right, that eye didn't give me no problems. It came out nice and even. But when I did it on the second eye, it came out patchy. Like, it had, like, I don't know if you're going to really see it in the video, but it came out in, like, patches. And I wasn't feeling it. And I did it over, like, 20 times. And it kept coming out in patches. I don't know if because it was the concealer or the way I blended it or if it sat too long or what. But in person, I think it... I don't think you're going to be able to see the video, but in person, it looks bad, but on video, it actually came out looking real nice. So now I'm going in with my Angel Veil by NYX Primer, and I rubbed it across my face, and I don't really care. When I first got it, I liked it, but like after switching primers, I'm I'm just using it in the video to get rid of it. It's not bad, but it's not something you could wear on its own, like... It leaves like a ashy or like a white powder finish. Because on the bottom it said wear will make up a wear alone. But to me, you can't wear it alone. No matter how much you rub it in, it leaves like a white ash residue across your face. But it's good for when you're wearing makeup. And then I'm going in with my Neutrogena. That's my favorite foundation, period. Boo. Like, it, it does the trick. Like, it blends in with my skin real nice. And I have dry skin. My Neutrogena, I think it was the color Caramel. Caramel, have y'all want to say it? And I used that a little across my face, and I used a damp beauty blender from Real Techniques. That's a that's a fire beauty blender. I recommend it because. <laughs> So this is the final looks guy. I'm so sorry I don't have the rest of the footage for some reason and somehow I lost the ending of the footage and I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you guys but this is the final look. It came out pretty. All I did was finish contouring, add my lashes and added um, pencil on my lips and that was it and with my setting spray. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm so sorry about not finishing the footage. But there was really nothing left to see. So, thanks for watching, guys.